So I got into social media because I've actually been a, a, an engineer for many years. I studied engineering, then I moved into marketing. And when this thing called social media came along, because I'm an extrovert, it was a natural extension. So I, I tried it um, back in 2007 when I joined Twitter. I thought it was the biggest waste of time. Uh, now I wouldn't be without it. I wouldn't be here talking to you this morning had it not been for Twitter. So uh, I got into it by, by trying it, by seeing what it could do, uh, by blogging, by putting my point of view out there. Uh, I haven't looked back since. I think the mistakes that marketers are making is they're seeing social as just another marketing channel. The advice I gave this morning is if you go up to two people in a pub or an event, see how long it takes to actually get into that conversation. You have to have something of value to say. If you walk up to two people that are talking and you try and push a product to them, they'll tell you to go away. I think that's what marketers are doing incorrectly today. They're not seeing the value that they can bring. You know yourself if someone walks up to you and you're talking in a great conversation and they hear what you're saying and they add value to the conversation, you let them in. That's what marketers have to do with social. I'd say I'm a big fan of Twitter only because it's immediate. You can actually set it up very simply. Uh, there's a standard for, for what you do on there as well. But more importantly, I think for anyone, whether it be an individual or a brand, you need to start listening first. Listening to what's happening about your brand, about your industry, about your competition, about your staff, and only then work out how to engage. But I think for me, if I only could pick one, one network, it would be Twitter. The future of social is actually social business. Social business is where we get the social technologies and techniques embedded deep into every part of the organization, into finance, into HR. We get it out of the marketing department and get it everywhere in the organization. So that's the future of social. And why I spoke this morning at the Marketing Institute breakfast was try and encourage marketers to get social out of their own department. The example I gave was, what about if everyone rang the marketing department to ask a question about the company? The marketing department would go mad. At the moment, that's what we're doing. We're actually asking people to contact one organization or one part of the organization to get a resolution. Once social is federated to every part of the organization, it'll be far more efficient, and people that need access to the information on social will get it in real time. One lesson I've learned in my career to date is the power of the network. There's always someone who knows someone that can help you. I'm old enough that I didn't have social networking all of my life. Uh, many years ago in Australia, I was involved in the Rotary Club of Sydney. Rotary is a worldwide um, charitable organisation. It's also about business networking. So very early on, I did what my peers didn't. At 29, I joined the Rotary Club of Sydney. And in that club were 39, 49, 59, 69 year old CEOs. So I got very comfortable talking to the people that I knew I'd be selling to one day. So now I can walk into a boardroom and I feel completely at ease because I practiced talking to CEOs when I was 29 years old.